you've lived here for even a hot minute, you know how bad traffic in North Texas can get. Some cities, though, are thinking differently, showing some interest in this new kind of transportation. Yeah, I learned that very quickly, right? You've probably seen something like it before, maybe at a fair or an amusement park. But our Aaron Jones is showing you now how that idea could actually take you around cities. When Heather Watton moved here from California, she didn't expect to see this type of traffic on Texas roads. I've heard a lot of people um, say it's a lot better than California. And, <laughs> but then I live in Frisco and driving down Preston Road is worse than any freeway I've been on in California. Yeah. I think this little street gets super crazy, so if there's any way to alleviate it, I'm down for that. Earlier this year, the North Central Texas Council of Governments launched a certification program for new transportation technologies. And now a handful of cities have expressed interest, including Plano. At last week's city council meeting, the city's director of engineering introducing council members to JPODs. It is a fee based uh, point to multi point aerial personal transit. Uh, and you'd probably look at it and say, it looks like a gondola. Exactly right. Each car or pod would carry four to six people. You enter in the location or station that you're going to, and it would take you there directly. This proposed map showing it connecting popular areas like Legacy West and the shops at Legacy. My only concern would be how disruptive it would be to our already uh, growing traffic, but otherwise it sounds really exciting and it seems like we have nothing to lose to explore this. The city council has given the go ahead to submit an application to the Council of Governments, which is due November 18th. There's no commitment, but if the city does go forward with the project, it's estimated it would take about seven to 10 years to complete. I think any way to relieve some of the congestion in the area and then just keep people a lot safer is all a great idea. With the lights going and during the holidays, it'll be super cute. I'm down for it. Yeah. And tonight we're told that JPODS has offered to fund this entire operation. It's estimated that each mile will cost $15 million. In Plano, Aaron Jones, CBS 11 News. <laughs>